to react to different things, but at the same time, when it comes to couples on YouTube, I just love reacting to it. I love love, I love relationships, the ups and the downs. I am that type of YouTuber that will point out things that most YouTubers won't um, because they're afraid of some repercussions. But for me, I don't care, it's a hobby, right? This ain't, this ain't a career choice for me. While I was gone from YouTube, I was still following some channels and Tay and Lou was one of them. And yes, I saw the drama unfold, y'all. I sure did. And it was a lot of it. You know what I'm saying? That, that relationship was very toxic, very dangerous, very abusive from both ends, mind you, because physical is not the only abuse that happens in relationships. Come on, let's be grown about it. Verbal and emotional and mental and spiritual abuse also plays a part in domestic violence. I'm a little late but it's never too late for a bliss uncensored reaction. I just noticed that Tay from Tay and Lou uploaded a video finally since the drama happened. So I'm a little nosy, so let's go ahead and react to this video. We're gonna go ahead and go on to Brooklyn Tay. That's the name of the channel. And this video that we're reacting to is called King Crab McBang. My new crush? It looks like Tay's got um, a little boo thing, okay? And mukbangs are normal for her channel. That's what she does, this is where she excels in. So we're gonna watch her eat, okay? Some good bomb ass food while talking about some crush that she is messing with. I don't know. Let's react, y'all. Let's go. Oh, baby, I'm back and I have a lot to tell you guys. <laughs> I have a lot to tell you guys. My name is Tay, if you don't know who I am, and this is my first mukbang ever in life. We just gonna say that that's the case. I want to let you guys know I have king crab here. I got some curry gold butter. Mm -mm -mm. I got some spinach artichoke dip, uh, peppers, cucumbers, a little secret piece of pesto, mm. bread right here, and a glass of rosé. Okay. I missed you guys. Just one bite of everything, and I'm gonna get started right away. My, how are you guys doing in, in the chat? I'm good. Let I'm me good. know how you guys have been. Long time no see. I've been chilling. Missed y'all dearly. I miss you guys dearly. But just know I've been busy doing good things while I've been gone. Okay, y'all? Busy doing crazy things, actually. And most of it is y'all fault, and I'll explain how. Oh, uh, here we go. You got that king crab. It's been a while since I had king crab, though. Cheers, I miss you guys. By the way, Lou continued on with her channel, doing mukbangs, doing cooking videos. Go watch her, go follow her. We're all, it's all about love here, okay? Support everybody. All the abusers, all the narcissists. Mm. Just support them all, okay? Wow. Fuck it. Mm. Bruh. <laughs> Mukbangs always trip me out. I don't know. It is interesting mm. to watch someone mm. eat for mm. some mm. reason. Mm. I don't know. Here's my paper towel. Something about it. All right, y'all. Yeah. One bite of the peppers in his arm. I'm not trying to prolong this story because this is going to have to be a video that's more than one part anyway. A lot of you guys know that I have been single for over a year now. All right. Almost reaching two years, damn near. And I've healed from my situations that I've had in the past. And I was ready to date, right? <laughs> but I knew that maybe I wasn't doing the best job finding somebody for myself. Maybe I needed some external help. And what better people to ask than the people who you spend time with every day, AKA, my TikTok family. If y'all don't know, I am a TikTok ambassador and I live stream for TikTok on a daily basis. And since then I have grown a large community over there and we kick it all day. So I figured why not? And a lot of you from YouTube are in my TikTok community. So thank you guys for joining me. Okay, I didn't know that. I have not followed her or seen any of her videos on TikTok, so I'll probably go check that out later. I'm guessing it's gonna be someone from her TikTok family. Mm, we'll see. Hopefully some of you consider joining me there, but I figured why not let y'all decide who I'll go out on a date with next. My name is Tay, uh, better known as Brooklyn Tay on TikTok. I am a single lesbian woman 
in search of a date and I have allowed you guys to take over that process. We have a certain group of women that have already applied to be on the quote unquote TikTok show and will be joining me shortly to begin the process of figuring out who you guys will choose for my uh, next date, my next physical date. Cause I'm this girl done did a whole dating show on TikTok. Is that what you're telling me? She did a whole little bachelorette episode? Girl, let me tell you. Let me tell you something, okay? I'm not picking sides, okay? Both Lou and Tay are very toxic. Instead of taking the time to search for a lover on TikTok, you should have took that time to find yourself a therapist. A therapist is what you need, girl, because you need some healing from the last relationship and you need some work on yourself so you don't abuse the next person. I'm talking about verbally and mentally, okay? In your narcissistic ways, you need to know how to control that because I'm not quite sure if narcissism is a personality trait or something that's something that you're born with or something that you create. I'm not sure. I am not a therapist, okay, or a psychologist. All I'm saying is, girl, you need some help because your next relationship is gonna be toxic as well. But go ahead, go ahead with your little dating show. And it resulted in a dating show in which, which lasted about two months, we had different women on the show that were competing for a date with me. Basically, I would fly out to whomever the audience chose. I didn't have any decision-making power in this situation. Can I do a little check-in with the audience before uh, I, Brie continues and, and takes over the show? Audience, are they bad or what? Let's just be real, y'all. They bad as fuck. Like, I'm really, uh, wow, y'all. How did I do this? I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm not saying that I have the best voice in this world, okay? I'm not saying that, but Tay, you sound, you sound a little bit annoying with that voice right now, that little screeching sound. I can tell you're very excited. You're a little too excited though. It's a little cringe, okay? But anyways, these are the contenders. Um, all right, um, I don't judge off of looks but uh, it is what it is. I think they're beautiful women. But this is another example of narcissism. For her to create a show to have a group of women compete over her, I feel like whenever someone's on a dating show and they want a whole bunch of people to fight over them or to compete, you are a narcissist. For some reason, you believe that you are God's gift to women or God's gift to men, whoever you like. And it's just so weird to me. And I don't understand why contestants do stuff like this to fight over one person. It's so weird to me. Other than trying to get ahead in the business for networking reasons, that I get. But if you're really in this for romantic reasons, girl, you is in the wrong place, the wrong time with the wrong person. Love like that do not exist that long. I'm telling you. It was solely based off who you all chose for me to fly out to their city to take out on a date. The show was crazy, y'all, uh, hold on. Mm. Okay. <laughs> what I want to talk about is the fact that the show did come to an end and a winner was chosen. <laughs> oh, what does this mean? A winner was chosen and her name is Love. Her and name is Love. Okay. Let's talk about love. Who is She's, she? Uh, Where's she from? The Memphis girl. Memphis, okay. Okay. Okay, Memphis. I'll tell you more about her uh, in future videos. A long story short, y'all, I literally flew out to Memphis <laughs> to meet love. Oh my God. Let's just say this meeting went way better than I anticipated. <laughs> you in love? In, is you in love? I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Meeting my TikTok crush for the first time while live streaming. Hold on. Gizmo, I need to listen to this, okay? I need you to relax. No, no, no. This is already gonna go nowhere because everything is about social media from the very beginning. Even to the day to where she's gonna meet her in person, she's live streaming. This is going nowhere, okay? 
Mark my words, this type of shit don't work. These relationships ain't gonna work, I'm telling you. Oh my god. Can you, can you guys come into view, please? Because if you're going to live stream on this, we need to see everything. Come on. <laughs> Wait, I promise I'll fuck that off. <laughs> All right, no, you stay here. Oh, <laughs> y'all, wait. Fuck, I'm talking Y'all better say y'all gonna be mad at me. Y'all better say y'all gonna be mad at me. Y'all better say y'all gonna be mad at me. Oh, y'all ready? Y'all already made out. Come here, come here. Come on in, girl. Let's see who you is. <laughs> come here, come here. Oh my God, this childish shit. Get your ass in the apartment, please. Thank you, appreciate you. Oh my God, <laughs> Okay, very pretty. Oh. Very, very, very pretty. My. <laughs> Wow. Hi. Hi. This is so awkward. <laughs> so fucking awkward, oh. y'all. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> I could never do this. <laughs> I hope y'all didn't stream the whole damn date. Because this shit's cringe. <laughs> like a motherfucker. Listen, I will say she's a beautiful woman. Um, obviously, I think it's self-explanatory. You can just see, but it's, that's physical. Okay, so let's know more about this girl. Tell me what you liked about her. What got you guys connected? Why does she win? Explain, <laughs> explain, please. Um, <laughs> she got glitter all over me just now. Now, mind you. Of course, because we're doing the show behind the scenes, I'm getting to know the contestants um, a little better. Okay. It was quite clear that it looked like love could potentially win. There was actually two or three people that it looked like could be, be the winner. But after each show, love was uh, coming out on top when it, when it came to the votes. Um, oh, okay. So the so audience kinda, voted. Like, you know, preemptively started to get to know her a little bit better because I'm not going to fly to Memphis. I could never do that. I promise you, I am not going to let anyone else have full control of my life, especially my love life. I ain't dating anybody that I am not interested in. Okay. I need to be physically attracted to you. And what I mean by that is that I need to find you physically attractive. I don't give a fuck what anybody else thinks. As long as I believe you're beautiful. Okay, cool. But personality has to be everything to me. I am not letting you guys choose. Uh-uh. Okay. Ain't gonna happen. <laughs> I'm not finna fly to Memphis. No, ma'am. And uh, not know who the hell I'm meeting. According to Love, um, she has flirted with me prior to the show or anything like that, and I rejected her. I don't really recall that, but the only reason it could be true, this is a big-ass piece of me, y'all. The only reason it could be true is because obviously back then I wasn't looking at anybody. So if somebody flirted with me, it probably went right over my head because I wasn't looking to flirt with anybody. Um, but I highly doubt that I would have missed her cues because she's a very beautiful woman. It's, she, hell y'all. Y'all, I, I, I don't want to get stuck again, y'all. I, I literally, y'all, oh, no, y'all, she got me. Oh, my God, God girl, you me. is grown. Why are you acting like that? But anyways, people are saying that this girl looks like Lou. Just because she's tall, thin, light-skinned, I mean, I don't see it. I just don't see it. Uh, I think Lou was also beautiful. I mean, she was a model. Uh, I just don't see it. What do you guys think? Comment below. Let me know what you believe. Do y'all believe that they look alike? That this girl's got a type? Let me know. Fucked up. That's, that's all I gotta say. She got me fucked up. Already? And I told her the biggest goal for me is to take everything slow. She does not look like Lou, y'all. I don't think so. Why? <laughs> I'm trying to be serious. Stop doing that! <laughs> 
y'all, I can't, I can't. I'm really, I promise y'all, I told y'all I was trying to be thick. It's her. It's you. I didn't do that. Stop coming so close. Cool. Cool. I have a plan, that's why. That's why I'm getting you, getting you to drink. What's the plan? Nothing. What's the plan? <laughs> she said, Tay said, I'm just, hold on, let me rewind it. I don't want to misspeak. I don't want to misquote her or anything. I have a plan, that's why. That's why I'm getting you, getting you to drink. What's the plan? I have a plan, that's why I'm getting you to drink. Wasn't she the same woman that complained about her ex and her drinking? Not to say that everyone are alcoholics or everyone's got a problem with drinking, but why is that a go-to for you to plan something for a romantic interest? Why do you have to have her drink? Why is that something that needs to be done in order for things to be comfortable? Um, that's already a red flag. What's the plan? <laughs> What's the plan? <laughs> oh my god, y'all, they're annoying the fuck out of me. I'm not gonna lie. It's so childish. But it's so hard for me. She's so beautiful, y'all. She's so she's so affectionate. She's so kind to me. And she got that accent. Oh lot y'all help me. <laughs> help me. Does she cause I couldn't hear her speak. She's not a patient. Please let her talk. Okay. It looks like she stayed the night, y'all. Because they're not in the same clothes. They're looking mighty comfortable on that bed. I wonder if they fucked. Mm -hmm. They probably fucked. We kissed on um, a palm meeting. You guys got to see the clip of us actually meeting, so I don't have to really explain that. But let's talk about what happened after what was live streamed. Now, I was very honest to my chat at the time about the fact that I really was looking to go out on a date, but if things got physical, they would get physical. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, you're grown. I'm grown. The people, the contestants were all grown. And they know what they signed up for. Um, <laughs> but let's just say, I got to know, love, uh, I got to know love very well, and I, and she got to know me very well, and mm. <laughs> I think I'm enamored. I think I'm enamored. Oh my god. <laughs> Anywho. Fucking lesbians. <laughs> talk shit about my community okay because i'm a lesbian my damn self okay and i'm one of them all right i move pretty quickly well i used to i've been single for three years <laughs> let's face it y'all we do move fast people stereotype us and it's for good reason i mean think about it straight women get attached quickly to men so when you put two women together imagine the attachment it's quick it's easy it's comfortable it's fast it just is what it is. But when you get older, switch it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Cause I definitely am taking my time. It's just words of advice, Tay. I, I don't remember how old you are. I think you're like 33 or something. I'm 38. I, I have a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of experience. During my stay there, we went horseback riding, which was very funny. We got our nipples pierced. <laughs> I got my nipples pierced. <laughs> Stop it! Stop recording my name! <laughs> what is my Discord? Oh no! My fucking nipples burn! Which was great. And we also uh, did a lot of exploring of one another, if you will. Um, I'm gonna make a part two to this video because I have a lot to say about what's going to happen in the future with me and myself in love and okay yeah part two coming soon please bring out part two because part one sucked you did a lot of eating uh pretty much let us know that you're moving fast and uh that you haven't worked on yourself 
and the toxicity will continue. I mean, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> all right, you guys. I mean, that's all I have to comment on. If you guys are interested in me reacting to part two, if she ever posts it, let me know because I am more than welcome to make you guys happy. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I motherfucking upload. See y'all, peace.